15 minutes of fame. Norbit. My you already guy. know my friend, Lachaim. The Puerto Rican Jew. That's right. Yeah. What's popping, man? You know, shit, just out here living. I wanted to actually go to the source. Um, I watched the uh, the J Black and uh, Tech Nine interview on Champion. Shout out to Champion. Shout out J Black and uh, and Tech Nine. Um, mm-hmm. And they were pretty much saying uh, that I guess the new guys are not doing their job, right? Um, mm-hmm. A lot of things about uh, I guess they were mentioning a lot about uh, some of the guys are not original. They sound like other people. And um, you're the you're the guy that actually those are your guys. Am I right? No, no. no. When you say new guys, or you say this, this shit, the shit that makes me laugh is like. Everybody comes to me when there's a complaint. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy because there's a lot of new guys out there that I see that, that go to all these other leagues that I don't pick up that look just like everybody I signed or something like that. But nobody ever complains about that. And the crazy shit is, they're more like than anything. If you look at who I recruited, who does Holmesy sound like? Who does R Street sound like? Who does Snake Eye sound like? Who does Mac Mel sound like? Who does Moon sound like? Like you want me to keep going down the list? Like, um, well, well, I, I really try to try to be as versatile as possible. You know what I'm saying? So when people say that shit, I'm like elaborate. Like who are you speaking on? You know what I'm saying? And I see a lot of dudes um, that battle these leagues that they all they do is punch. They all punch line rappers. They all do the same two bar, four bar setups. But yet I'm the one that gets the negative focus. And and when I try to recruit. I try to go as far left as possible. You know, you look at, the, you know, New Jersey Twerk. He don't rap like nobody, but what he did was he set a trend that made a lot of people rap like him. True. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when, I brung, when I brung on Chilla Jones, we could go that far. Chilla Jones was the first dude to double scheme, triple scheme, scheme like a whole round, and now all of a sudden everybody started scheming. Um, but yet nobody wants to talk about that shit. Everybody just wants to dump or, or dump on me and try to hate. And, and I'm not saying Jay Black nor Tech Nine is hating because I got a, I got the utmost respect for both of them. You know what I'm saying? Especially Tech, that's my brother, you know what I mean? And I got a lot of love for Jay Black. But, you know, I feel like when when you're speaking on that, when you speak on new guys, the fact that my resume is, un, you know, is, 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 is amazing in terms of in getting these cats. And I'm not just saying that because just to say it, I mean, it's the truth. People always come to the source. But when I see all these other leagues recruiting garbage, nobody says anything. But yet, I'm the one that gets ridiculed, uh, hated on, or whatnot. And I sit there, and I'm like, man, I'm the most versatile dude out there. I don't try to get the same exact type of dude. That's why I try to stay away from punches, unless you're phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they, they, they're not, they're not pointing the finger at you. I oh, no, no. De- I decided to go to the source and maybe yeah. see if you see it no. the way they might see it. Because, no, absolutely. Because I mean, the one absolutely. thing I didn't get from the, the, the blog was they actually didn't uh, say a certain class. They didn't say names. So at this stage of the game, we don't know who specifically they were actually talking about. I know that, but when you say it, the first person you think about is going to be me. I'm the first person to be attacked, to be ridiculed. Or whatnot, and I, I get it. It's cool, you know. I mean, I'm responsible for 98 percent of the t- man. I'm responsible for 100 percent of the hot niggas out there. Fuck 98 percent. Like anybody that that that's gotten hot, I've had something to do with the situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, having said that, like you know, it is what it is. But I do agree. A lot of guys see a formula and then they they like because a formula works for an individual. They say, "Oh shit, I'm gonna switch my style." I don't see guys. Rap like certain rappers, and all of a sudden, rap like this next rap all of a sudden, and it's in the, it's it's YouTube, bro. So you can actually document and look this shit up. I feel as if there's a lot of originality missing, and that's one of the reasons I really try to be specific of who I who I co-sign. You know I said I may have given opportunities in the past to impress me or, or come out and do a PEG, but I'm not signing nobody that's a clone. You know, I'm trying to look for somebody that's going to set a trend. And that, that's something that I really, really try to do. But a lot of these guys that you see out there are carbon copies of other people. And I, I definitely agree with that. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy when it comes to guys that are signed to the URL, they try to ridicule. 
But I've seen guys steal an entire dude's entire, <laughs> literally his entire style, bro. And people don't say nothing about it. I've seen guys sit there and try to punch like Av or do the two to four bar setups. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's all they do. And nobody say nothing. It just seems like it's a double standard when it comes to certain individuals. It's like you know when the PG step was out, yeah. like everybody was doing a PG step, even yeah, girls. Yeah. <laughs> so. Man, that's a fact. Like, <laughs> like even like even like when jazz started battle rapping. If you really go back to when jazz was battle rapping, she was the first girl puncher. Now every female punches. Like, and I, I, you could go on the tape. You could look at every fucking. Way. It's like they see a formula. They find it, they think it's crazy, and they use it. Because that's, that, they, you know what I mean? And it's whack. You know what I mean? That's why you got to respect somebody like Bill Collector. Yes. Or, you know what I'm saying? Guys like that. Like, or, you know, like, there's a lot of people just say, oh, man, I'm going to find this formula and I'm going to run with it. I'm going to punch every two to four bars. And that seems like the formula that a lot of people are sticking to. And that shit is whack. Now, in terms of what, uh, I didn't watch the blog, but from what I heard was people got to promote themselves. Absolutely. I mean, you know, and I feel like I've failed in, in, in the last few months because I've got so much, so many things going on in my personal life that I've kind of fell back and allowed them and other people to push these individuals. And obviously, it's not going to be as, as, as effective if, unless I'm doing it. So I take some of the blame. I'm never going to hide from from criticism because I gotta put I gotta put it on myself. And that's why recently I've been really going to bat for these guys because I do believe in guys like Art Streets, Holmesy, Snake Eyes and, and Moon and these cats and, and the Joes and, and these guys have put on some great battles this shit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I feel like it's my fault in a sense that I haven't let them know what the criteria is at the URL. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I felt back because of personal reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like and I don't really like putting everything out there, you know. I'm, 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 you know, I got married. I'm having a baby. Like it's a lot of things that 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 real life ends up uh, kind of slow. You know, you kind of lose focus on what you're doing. But you know, my wife really supports me and stuff like that. And she kind of someone that really pushes me. And she kind of really just just kind of put things into perspective for me. So I'm kind of back on my shit, and and you're gonna see a difference in terms of these guys. Uh, you know, uh, the way they move and they promote themselves. But I got to I gotta take a lot of that blame as well. But in terms of the copycat shit, we're trendsetters. You know what I'm saying? A I, lot of guys that I, that I set as trendsetters, and, and, you know, you got guys that just don't, aren't original. They looking, they're looking to be successful, so they just jack the style. So so let me, let me clear something up on my end, is that the way I look at it is a lot of these conversations that a lot of people are having, um, it's, that's, it's based around the PGs when in all actuality, no district, no disrespect to URL, but there are a lot of other new guys out there that are very fucking talented. They might not ever make it to the URL stage for all I know, but mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think it can, it can, this conversation can stay uh, just URL based. Well, the reason it's going to always be URL based because you don't dream to battle in these other leagues. You dream to battle in the URL. You're not going to be a legend anywhere else. If you're not successful in the NBA, you're not going to be considered with Kobe and these niggas. You could be a legend in Europe, but where do people, you know, people ain't talking about Oscar Schmidt. I don't even think you know who Oscar Schmidt is. Well, you know well, well Pat Stay is a legend. Disaster is huh? a legend. Um, there's a lot of people that didn't battle on a URL state. I don't want to make Where this a like, URL versus, like, but and I and I, fuck, and I fuck with disaster, right? Heavy, but he knows he has to come here if he wants to be a legend in hip hop, period. And he know that. Pat State, I've never heard anybody say that, and that's no disrespect to Pat State, and I fuck with Pat State. But until Pat State puts up them same numbers in the URL, there's a difference. You can battle URL MCs anywhere else. But when you battle them in the league, in the NBA, you know what I'm saying? No, I it's totally agree role. with that. And, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't believe, and there's no offense to Pat Stay, I think he's dope. But until he does it here, I don't think the streets, and this is where hip-hop comes from, the streets, they're never going to respect him in that manner. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, it's no shade to him because I, I think Pat Stay's talented. I've spoken to Pat Stay, but even Pat Stay knows if he was to make his mark here, he'd be a legend for life. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's really what it is. And and even disaster know that shit. 
that's all disaster. Like he was dying to come here. He's dying to do his thing. And I respect him as a competitor for doing that. I think he's a very talented individual. I think he is one of the best MCs. You know what I'm saying? But he got to do it here. He knows he got to do it here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people love Disaster's personality. He's dope. He's done a lot. But he knows in his heart of hearts that if he makes his mark here, he's a legend for life. You know what I mean? So, now, do, do you think... I was talking to J uh, J four hundred block, and he said there was a time where as though PGs were like do two PGs, and then you know they would be on their way. Now it seems like there's too many PGs, and I think he mentioned that. I think Beasley said you guys were gonna step back from the PGs a little bit. Can you can well, you elaborate on that? Well, I'm, well, but basically it was. It's not that it's too many. It's not that it was too many PGs. Too many people claiming there was PGs. Like, like, bro, like, because it's a process to where I kind of allow people to showcase their ability in front of me. And if they become a PG, a lot of people think they're PGs because they got to they got a, a look to come to the PGs. No, you got to make the roster. If you ain't got that contract, you're not a PG. So a lot of people were kind of shit on. And the fact that I'm the, you know, I'm the I'm the head, whatever the fuck it is, the head A&R or whatnot, in the process, I feel like a lot of people hated on the situation. And there's a lot of people that can't get a PG or, or feel like they deserve it, so they're going to throw dirt on it. You know, so they'll try to knock it, but in reality, man, they're like, there's not too many people that have actually made the cut. And that's a fact. Just because you got the opportunity to showcase your ability, which is a process that we've created, doesn't mean you made it. Just because you got an NBA try, it don't mean you made the roster. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I feel like you know, what I wanted to do was kind of be a little more selective because a lot of people were taking that and wondering what it like, this is what they became, or that's who they, who, what they are. They're not a part of you all, bro. Because you got to try it, you got to make the cut. And I feel like people want to drag that. And the fact that it's me, the fact that it's the URL, you're going to you're gonna make it that, you're going to shit on it that much more because there's a lot of other people that have developmental processes that are butt cheeks, let's be honest with you, but nobody talks about them. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? But yet we, I, I take a hundred daggers a day, you know what I'm saying? And we, we're literally responsible for like 99% of every event that sells out. We have our fingerprint, our, our blueprint through the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's through the process that we've created and that, that we've actually been using for years. You know what I'm saying? But nobody could teach these other, why don't they critique these other these other uh, leagues that have their starter process. Well, see, and that's they, a good question too, because there's a lot like like I noticed, um, like I'm about to do some some uh, some interviews with a couple of people that has nothing to do with the URL. Um, there are a lot of other people. Don't wipe your nose again, because then we'll see your whole face, and I don't think people really want to see your whole face. Because as soon as you did that, the hat and the glasses left. So please, not. Oh man, this is the blues brothers look for me. Don't fuck up this interview. Um, I guess. <laughs> um, but, but I lost my train of thought because your ugly ass face just fucked my damn head up, man. Uh, but yeah, it, it's like it's there are a lot of other people out there. So let me let me ask you this though. Um, the the PG like what is the last class? What would we consider the last class? Ryder, that class, Ryder and Jack Boy and them. Is that the last actual um, class? I mean, it's hard to do a class because sometimes somebody special might come along. Like, we were, we were working on, uh, like, it's more like a year. Like, you know what I mean? Like, who comes on? Like, Tor came along all of a sudden, and he just, like, created a fucking wave. So, like, Tor kind of fits in the last class uh, from the Riders. Even though Ryder was, like, February, early February when he came. He was there for the Super Bowl. Uh, Black, uh, Snake Eyes. Like, there's a lot of guys. Mac Mel, Holmesy. Um, Joe, you know, I mean, these guys are basically in the same class, to be honest. And it's crazy because people want to hate, but Joe is fire. Joe is he ridiculously fire, bro. Like Joe and Holmesy was crazy. Yeah, I, I, I challenge anybody to say who what what, what two newcomers had a better battle than that. They're and really just crazy, just for the bro. just for the record, you're taking too long to bring Joe back. How about that? So, oh, I mean, Joe's coming back. He'll be on the next two cards. Okay, you know I love Joe. Okay. You know what I mean? It's now, just, with me, it's like, uh, I like to set up great matchups. I don't really look for these names, and that's why I appreciate some of these guys like Joe. Like, they just want great matchups. But Joe will be back real soon. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay. And I, I feel now, and I feel like I said that's why I said like I, it's my responsibility to get these dudes hot and like for the fact that like you know Jay Black and Tech Nine said what they said like I got to take a lot of responsibility for that and that includes Joe not battling as frequent. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's all on me. Hey, nobody else gonna take that blame. Nobody else deserves that blame. That's all on me. So now, now we talk. You talk about that class. Now, who would you consider are the new guys now? Because the Joes and the Holmesies, we can't consider them. Uh, well, they're still kind of new because they actually haven't, you know, been on the big stage and battled yeah. a vet or whatever the case may be. Oh, this is mm -hmm. gonna be a two-part joint. Who are the new guys? Uh, after those guys who are the new guys and i think also uh champion was pretty much talking about how can you do a rookies versus vet card if you don't have if the rookies are not where they need to be in order to have I mean, that battle I mean, this is this is this and this is again with the stupidity and i love jay black i think he's dope but sometimes i think he sniffs coke I'm saying, like, bro, like, it's it, it's not only the fact that the rookies aren't there. What vets do you want to see on a rookies versus vets call? Well, is that I think I think what they're saying is, is that how, that's how you find out how good the rookies are by putting them up against the vets. I I, I hear you, but when the vets aren't that good anymore, oh, then how do you base that? Like, that don't make no sense. The reason it wasn't a rookies versus vet vets call coming back up because. The vets weren't, nobody wanted to see them no more. I mean, there's a handful of vets that are still top tier. Uh, Tsunami Surf. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Kayshawn, straight off a phenomenal performance in uh, fucking Chicago. He well, ain't lost a step. Kayshawn, like, there's yeah. not a lot of those guys that are still putting up notes. A lot of those guys that were considered top tier at one time are not there no more. Or... They're like, you know, they're on the cloud nine and feel like Jesus Christ got called them to get to do a battle. You know what I'm saying? So, to be honest, it's not as easy because there's not enough good vets anymore either. So, if you're going to say there's not enough good rookies, there's a lot of good young talent. What, what, and they're going to keep fighting each other. What mm -hmm. about the new vets then? The T-Tops, the Brizzes? I would do that. I mean, that that's probably what it would have to happen. Okay. Uh, the T-Tops, the Briz Rawsteins, the Chess. It's crazy. Chess is a vet. He's 18 years old. Right, uh, chess, uh, the DNAs, those guys are gonna have no vets. If it's possible to make it happen, but a lot of these guys that you claim to be vets at a time weren't that good, man. But now it's a new set of vets that people gotta stop thinking of T Top as a new guy. T Top is top tier. Chris Ross is a top tier dude. You know i a lot of those guys that that were 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 in you know glamour or whatever aren't there anymore. So that that's what kind of made. Uh, the, the, the the situation difficult to make a rookie as vets too because T Top and number one taking over the game, so the vets were kind of just I don't know where they was at to be honest with you. Hmm. I mean, think about it. What was the last great performance from a vet that you've seen? I just told you, you know, Kayshawn. Okay, Kayshawn, keep going. Um, I'm trying to remember the last vets that actually battled. Now think about that. The fact that you got to think about that is pretty bad. Cortez. Okay. Keep going. Look, you, you're struggling to find. <laughs> That's because I'm an old motherfucker and I, my memory don't work the same no more. <laughs> I hear you, but keep going. Uh, keep okay. going. I'm, I'm old Red. Okay, keep going. I'm you got right. You got Old Red. red. Okay. Um, uh, shit. I'm okay, just, keep I'm going. I'm trying to pitch it in my head. Uh, I mean, Rock. Tay Rock. Tay Rock, okay, yeah. Yeah, Tay Rock. Um, Hollow, okay. Hollow. Now, Arsenal. You, you're, you're, you're not only naming. What was Arsenal? I mean, I love Arsenal's death, but what was his last classic performance, you, you would say? Ah. Uh, right? Okay. I was not a new guy. Who? This is what I'm saying, bro. Like, the vets haven't been putting up 30 at night either. Don't sit there. And lie to me now. I okay. love all these guys. Like, Charlie Clips is one of my favorites ever. Probably arguably the top three most talented battle rappers I've ever do. It. And he's but never had a bad sit. night. Huh? He's never had a bad night. <laughs> Come on, bro. But, no, I, I, 
And Charlie Clips, let's be honest, Charlie Clips hasn't had a bad night because Charlie Clips is whack. Charlie Clips has had bad nights because he's just Charlie. Like, he's just one of those guys who's just like... Even his bad right. nights turn out to be good nights. <laughs> yeah, Char- Charlie... Charlie is the top three most talented battle rappers of all time. Hey, DNA the goods. Worst, worst, so, huh? DNA goods. I'm trying to think. It's still, still thinking some more. So. The fact that you're taking it's this bad. I got you. Name, it's, it's bad. I, I got you. But I can see. I can see a rookie those vets right now. You know what I mean? I throw our streets. I throw a Holmesy. I throw Joe on anybody right now. Like I'm not tripping. Like we could do it, but who you gonna match him up with? You know what I mean? Right. Uh, Snake Eyes, why? I, I'll do it. I, I got enough guys to make it happen. It's not. That's not the question. Is it's like you know, is 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 booking these vets worth it too? I mean, Tay Rock definitely worth it. Howard Dog definitely worth so, it. So so let's DNA let's, definitely worth it. Let's say not the vets. Let's say how about the top tier guys now? T Top versus a uh, Snake Eyes, or you know what I mean? Chess versus uh um. You know what I mean? So those type of matchups, you don't. It don't have I mean, to be the top. I mean, the the vets per se. You know, there's still the T top and Brizzes and Chess. In terms class. of the top tier dudes, that's that's vets. Absolutely, I would do it. I, like I said, the T tops, the Briz Rawstings, the Tsunami Search, uh, the the Tay Rods. Those are the guys that have to step in and say, "Yo, let's make it happen." You know what I'm saying? And I think we can do it. You know, like I said, the reason we didn't do it last time because, to be honest with you, there wasn't that many. Vets, it really wasn't on the rookies. It was more about the vets. Yo, so I right, so let's get back uh where we left off is the I was mentioning the um the the top tier, like what I like to call top tier now, like the T tops and them. That's the the new top yeah, tier. I mean, but that's the that's the right way to do it, like just because you've been battling alone that doesn't make you top tier. But I definitely agree like T top, um uh, Tay Rock, Howl of the Dawn, um, I think Bridge is there. Um, you know, I think those are the guys surf. You chess. know, I mean, I, really, chess, I think chess was there. And then he decided to because of the choke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, so yeah. I got I can't consider him right now top tier. I can't be. I can't say these vets fell off and not him in a sense, nigga. That's not fair. So I can't really place him there right now. But Run Nitty, I think is there. I think Run Nitty, oh, Run Nitty, a hundred percent. You know what I mean? So you got John John and Don. I mean, now now you opening up. Now I can start talking. See, I can start naming some of these guys now. You told me. Told I me mean, I, well, to be honest, I can't I, I can't really put John John there either because I he haven't been active in a long time. Man, get the fuck out of here. John John is is a fucking vet at this stage of the game, bro. No, he's clearly a vet. I, I'm talking about top tier right now. I can't call him. Well, that. if you're a vet, you're a top tier. No, that's not how it goes. So let me ask you a question: Is uh? Uh, hold on, how do we do this? It's, uh, You're right. Was was Peyton Manning top tier his last year in the NFL? Right. I got you. I got it's you. Based on performance and what he's done, and you know, no offense to John John, but this is the what have you done for me lately? You know what I'm saying? Like you can't stay in the top five if you're not performing like one. And that's not to say that he can't perform like a top five MC, but you're saying because he didn't perform on a URL in a while. That's your point, right? I, I, I don't think he's performed. Period. Like I don't, I don't know what was his last battle. I can only tell you, his last battle was versus Big K on RBE. I didn't watch it. I couldn't tell you. You know what I mean? That's just me. I'm just keeping it real. I didn't even know he. I, I didn't even know he had a battle. Yeah. Well, you but know he's know. about to battle Rum Nitty on Smack Volume Two, though. Yeah, I mean, I expect it to be a dog fight. You know what I mean? I, um, you got to take your hat off to John. Come niggas, come back on URL against. One of the most dangerous, if not the most dangerous, puncher in battle rap. So you got to take your hat off to him for that. How do, how do you feel about a rookies versus top tier on a smack volume card or in that environment opposed to uh, putting them on stage? You know what? I don't like it for the simple fact that I think rookies versus vets. It's a rookie versus top tier is kind of weird. Rookies versus vets card, would, it's a lot of fun for the fans. Like Some events have to be big events. Like, the atmosphere, the energy, the people going back and forth, you need that in some of these events. So me personally, I don't like it in that more like not that type of an event. Because that's more of an action packed event. Like people were talking shit. I remember the first rookies versus vets, man. It was people that couldn't get inside. Like it was crazy. What you was the first rookies versus vets? 
Uh, it was the soccer versus shotgun shoot. Yes. It was, it was at Gramercy. Yeah. And yeah. it sold out like a month before the event. So, like, those, those are like high energy cars. I Yo, believe, like, you gotta, I had a seat. I was sitting down in Gramercy. Yeah, I love the Gramercy. I'm not oh. gonna lie to you. Nice, <laughs> that was shit. Yeah, it was super shit. nice. You know, like, to me personally, like, those cars gotta be. You know, you got to have the fans in the building. I don't want to do a rookie versus vets quiet room type of thing. You know what I mean? You, you, you got to have it to where the fans are there going crazy and debating and arguing to who's going to win, you know? Yeah. A lot of these cats don't understand. Like, you know, I remember when we first started URL, man. I was the first dude blogging. <laughs> like, people don't understand that shit. I was literally the first dude blogging about the bad. Now you see everybody doing it. And it was fun to me. But I, you know, a lot of these rappers, they, you know, they're lazy, bro. It's just, it's just a state of mind, and they got to break out of that. But at the same time, sometimes they don't understand what it takes, and and that's where it comes, and that's where a person like myself comes in and has to direct. Them, you know what I'm saying? So I take a lot of the blame for these okay. cats not being promoted the way they should, because it's my job to get them to do that. So I failed them, and you're gonna see over the next few months. Something 100 percent different, so I take 100 percent the blame on that. Like, it's my fault. It ain't. It ain't, it ain't nobody else's fault but mine. All but right. You're gonna see a lot of R Street. You're gonna see a lot of Joe. You're gonna see a lot of Snake. You're gonna see a lot of Moon, Twerk. Anybody. That's what you're gonna see. And I'm gonna show people why we got the best talent in the world. So maybe subliminally, subliminally, J Black and Tech Nine were talking to you. Maybe they Absolutely. telling you to do they, your they fucking definitely job. Talking to me. They, uh. Especially Jay Black. Jay Black's a piece of shit. I love him, but he's a piece of shit. You know what I mean? And and you know, Jay Black loves the sport and uh he's the type of dude that, you know, me and him always competitive, always going at it. And like when you talk new talent, you don't talk about anybody else. You talk about me. And no offense to these other guys that have their, you know, their 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 their, their own PG process, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to this, I'm going to take the hit. Nobody's nobody's expecting uh, these other leagues to develop a talent. That's me. Fans look to me when it comes to new guys. They don't look to these other leagues. So it's my responsibility to promote these guys in the right I'm way. Not, I'm not going to agree with you on that. A lot of other leagues do produce a lot of new talent. No, they don't get the push like a URL new talent guy does. But there's a lot of new talent out there. Um, mm. That's not on the URL, so I, I haven't seen it yet. So I mean, I've got I've got some weapons up my sleeve that I'm about to unleash. That Uncle Rod gonna be crazy for April eighth. I got a little card with my little surprise dudes that I'm about to just put on. But you know, I'm being real selective of who I'm co-signing, and they know the leagues that produce like I do. So all the way we produce, bro. You know, a lot of you got a lot of rejects, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That's how I look at right, it. Right, but I don't want it. I don't want it to be. You stop being that. politically correct, my nigga, because when the fucking camera comes off, you call me, you start talking for real. Well, well, the for real thing is, is that, yes, the URL produces most of the new talent that actually become them. superstars, but there are a lot of other leagues that produce uh, good talent, so. No, absolutely, and that's yeah. why I draft them. If I feel, feel like somebody's good enough for the NBA, I go out there and I draft them. That's what we do. Man. Do you draft them, said, or do you steal them? I draft them. I never, I never steal them. I allow them to battle when they leave. I show them love. Like, bro, like, these leagues want me to come get their people. I don't go there and be like, hey, I'm taking them. Like, you know what I'm saying? They want me to take that, you know, they want me to work with their time. So that's what I do. I'm just, I'm just fucking yeah. with you. That's all good. You should come out, man, honey, man. But like I said, there's, 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 there's talent, and then there's you all talent. And everybody belongs here. So, like, I would never not. Like other leagues, like I, I watch some guys in other leagues. I know mean, oh, I like him, but he just don't fit what we do. You know what I mean? So, right, 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 right. And that's really what it is. But I always say that, man. The URL is a different animal. Um, it's the, and, let, let's t say it with me. It's the NBA, the NFL, the Super Bowl of battle rap. No, sing that, sing that song. Oh. You can battle anywhere with <laughs> if it's not all smack. <laughs> that shit is still classic. <laughs> 15 minutes of fame.